Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect with me and our protagonist, Melinda Shepard. Last time around, if you remember, we created we created her and I just finished up Eden Prime where the beacon was destroyed. We found out Saren wants human all humans dead and also has anger management problems as well as resembling a member of the Space Mafia. And now, we're going to talk to people before we head to the Citadel. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew, and I'm glad we didn't lose you too. Aw, nice to see you care. Anyways, how are you holding up? Things were pretty rough down there. Yeah, you never get used to seeing dead civilians. Doesn't seem right somehow. But at least you stopped Saren from wiping out the whole colony. Hey, don't give me all the credit. You helped. I couldn't have done it without you. We're Marines. We stick together. And I'm just sorry that we lost Jenkins. Yeah, he'll definitely be missed. I don't know, there's just something I liked about Jenkins. I can't explain it. He just seemed really nice. And I'm... Too bad he got taken out, but I guess that's the thing to do. Get, and you kind of knew it was going to happen, because you couldn't take off his helmet. Yeah, I wish I could have done something to save him. I was there. You did everything right. It was just bad luck. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. Yeah, gotta love politics, eh? Uh, looks like you've been around, eh, Caden? You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. Maybe yeah, we'll get a I it. guess they play that so down with Shepard because she uses a shotgun, too. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? More or less. I was a regular Navy brat. I got a little more noteworthy than the folks expected. Oh, that's right. Torfin. Not messy business. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? Messy doesn't even begin to cover it, Kaden. It was nasty. Let's just leave it at that. And as for why we're going to the Citadel, we will want to brief the Council. The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Good. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take care of something real quick. There we go. I just had to set my alarm so I didn't spend too much time playing. I just like to manage my time like that. Anyways, time to get back to it. We have other people to talk to. Dr. Chuck was. You'll be third. Actually, I think. I'm glad you're this okay. This is another Amanda. reason why I Who like playing as a female character. Because you get to talk to both of them rather than. One full conversation and one that just says a singular line. As, as a male character, you can't actually talk to Caden, just to Ashley. Not really sure why. It's kind of strange like that. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. Don't be like that, Ashley. You earned it. You're a good soldier, Williams. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Yeah, so how are you doing? Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit yeah, wiped that, out. That's gotta and you be never rough. get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. Do I have to go through this with both of you? Stop downplaying your own role. You helped a lot. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. Yeah, well, glad to have you. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. 
Thanks, Commander. Okay. Shepard's locker. We'll grab this stuff. Dr. Chuck. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Let's have a little chatty. Personal question. How did you end up me? serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic yeah, as I'd Yeah, stereotypical imagine. war but humanity Roman needs the alliance. I want guess. To keep expanding through that the seems traverse. to happen a lot. And the alliance always Apparently needs good doctors. a few hundred, few centuries so in the future, it's point. not much different. Not really surprising, though, is it? Anyways, have any regrets, Chakwas? Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. Interesting. What do you know about Captain Anderson? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. Oh! He knows when to let things slide and when to surprise. crack the wheel. The crew knows he seems I have that happen once or twice into. where I say something and then the character the says the command. exact same thing, but it's pretty rare, and I just find it incredibly strange. And what about Caden? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record, over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. L2? What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Complications? What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. Wow. Those are some side effects. I guess they hadn't really <laughs> got the hang of how to make good implants by that point, would be my guess. Because this would... when they made those, it would be, what, 10, 15 years after the discovery of alien life? I'm so they'd just still be trying to figure this stuff out. It's not surprising there'd be quite a few screw-ups in the mechanics, is it? I should go. Yeah, Goodbye, come on. That. I would go down there, but there's not really anyone to talk to. Until you... Well, until something else later in the main story. That I'm not gonna mention because of spoilers. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on Thanks, Presley. Glad to see you care. Well, let's examine a few more th things and get some codex entries. Walking to a Joker, Joker, Joker. Hello. Hey there, Seth Green. Let's have a chat -see. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Yeah. Hopefully they actually do something useful with it. And a mass relay. What a shock. I guess they don't use giant donuts to get to the Citadel and mass relays for everywhere else. Well, that ruins that idea. And the Citadel. Brace yourself, folks. I have to say, it's most impressive the first time you see it. Just tend to lose a little bit of the wow after you go there regularly. Well, size isn't everything. If you get Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. 
Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. A and Good its is arms are shaped like an octopus. Citadel control, this is SSV Normandy. This with a giant hole in it. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. That ship's shaped like a giant octopus. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operation. You should real you really Roger, should Alliance snub Alliance them, Joker. Alliance. Just act like you're going there and then leave and then come back. Normandy, Just this is Alliance Tower. mess with Please their heads. That would be funny, but he ain't gonna do it. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus system. Oh, the Council. Humanity was well aware of the risks. How when I do not the like universe. you. What about Sarah? Trust you me. You can't just ignore a rogue spectre. You will, I glow, demand action. You will grow to you dislike to them of a as much ambassador. as I do. Citadel security as is investigating your charges against goes Seren. On. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the You'll hearing. You'll see what not I mean. Before. I won't say any more because that would involve spoilers. Captain Anderson. I see you brought half your crew with and you. Udine Just the brown is still as Eden much Brown. of a douche as in I case remember. You any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Well, then... I will have to give them a giant purple dildo and tell them what to do with it if they are that ignorant. Because that would be about as useful as anything they'll do. If you don't get it, that's a Saints Row 3 reference. And that's all I'll say. But Saren is dangerous. Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to well, listen that to works us. Too. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Saren's Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. And sent his That's goons Saren's after fault, us. not hers. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the Please hearing. let me find Shepard, an excuse and to the blast him with my shotgun and Top call level. it self-defense. Sure no one would miss him, honestly. And that's why I hate politicians. You and me both, Ashley. You and me both. Decryption, eh? And we have a mission. Alliance Patrol Report. Captain Hendrickson <clears throat> reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No further patrols are <clears throat> Sorry, no patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? That's a side quest that takes place in space, so to speak. So we'll have to advance the main story a bit until we have the capability. Before we have the capability to perform that mission. So you won't be seeing that one for a while. And we have a bit of a conversation between a bunch of different species. Let's talk to the midget first. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, uh, Earth Clan? A Volus with an ego. Absolutely wonderful. 
Let's talk to him a bit. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door. In his own office. Not at the moment. He's off in being a douche. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. What a wonderful fellow. We totally need more people like him in politics.